Fiala. I'm proud of them. I love them. Uh, give Ohio State credit. And, um, you know, we still have a chance. Uh, go 1-0 and this week. Um, put us in a position to have double-digit wins and then go into a bowl game and find a way to get that one and go from there. Well, a much different post-game press conference than last year's, right? Today, obviously, not the outcome Penn State wanted, but they kept it a ball game in the third quarter with that 17-point comeback. And freshman quarterback Will Levis stepped up when the team needed him in front of more than 100,000 people at Ohio Stadium. But that's nothing Penn State isn't used to. LeVar Arrington in the house at Ohio State. Here we go. First quarter, Ohio State quarterback Justin Fields looks to punch in a touchdown, but he fumbles at the goal line and Penn State recovers and Nittany Lions down seven to nothing after the first quarter. Second quarter, Ohio State running back J.K. Dobbins finishes with 157 yards. Ohio State would be up 14 nothing at the half. Third quarter, Buckeyes up 21 to nothing and things got a little scary for Penn State. Sean Clifford gets the pass off, but he would have to be helped off the field with an injury and would not return. The Penn State offense, though, getting a spark. Journey Brown, 18 yard touchdown and Penn State is on the board, but they're down 21 to 7. The defense also with a spark. Micah Parsons would force a fumble here. It bounces around and would be recovered by Penn State's Lamont Wade. And then right after that, Backup quarterback Will Levis punches it in. Penn State forced two fumbles in the third quarter and would close the gap to 21 to 17. Fourth quarter now, Ohio State extends its lead. Chris Olave snags a 28 yard touchdown pass and it's now 28 to 17. Penn State trying to come back later fourth quarter. Penn State driving. Will Levis is picked off and that would help end Penn State's hope at winning. Nittany Lions fall 28 to, Ohio, 28 to 17 to Ohio State. Nittany Nation's Peter Terpstra has your recap. Pete? It's cold, wet, gloomy here in Columbus. Penn State loses for the third time to Ohio State in a row. Penn State is not going to the Big Ten Championship. But down 21 nothing, Penn State's comeback is at least worth talking about. We fought our butts off, and I, I wanted to make sure everybody knew that we fought our butts off. Um, so, so don't nobody. I mean, it, it hurts, but so don't nobody hang their head too much. I mean, we still got work to do. We uh, got to finish out and uh, get this 11 win season. Penn State won the turnover battle, forcing three fumbles and scoring 10 points off of them too. You know, by now it was just a little too late. Maybe the biggest news of the game. Starting quarterback Sean Clifford left the game with an injury and backup Will Levis sparked the offense. Sean could have came back, but he would not have come back 100%. And Will was playing well, so, so we decided to stay with him. When Sean went down, I knew, like, okay, it's my time to go. Like, threw a couple of balls, and I was ready to go. Um, I mean, a little nervous the first couple of plays, but I mean, it kind of just all went away. Just started having fun, going out there, doing my thing. Levis had a hand in every point for Penn State leading or finishing the team's three scoring drives. Ohio State fans stormed the field to celebrate a division championship, leaving Penn State behind again. We were really close. Um, we just got to continue to find uh, the little details and, and, and execute them a little better. Um, but we're really close, I feel like. Peter Terpstra reporting for Nittany Nation. All right, thanks, Peter. To the hardwood, Penn State men's basketball hosting Yale. Yale goes on a 7-0 run at the start until Miles Dredd finds Lamar Stevens, who does that because he's Lamar Stevens, okay? Later, Isaiah Brockington throws down this unreal slam. Wow, Charlotte, watch this with me in slow-mo, okay? Left-handed throwdown. Check out how I slowed this down, and boom! Think we could do that? I think we could do it, right? Lions trail at half, 31-21. Second half, Brockington again from mid-range, and there's the bank. He comes off the bench and finishes with a team high 15 points tonight. So cue the comeback after trailing for most of the game. Penn State goes on a 12-0 run with under four minutes to play. Lamar Stevens finishes with 13 points and 13 boards. And Nittany Lions would win 58-56 and move to 5-0 on the season. All right, moving over to Pagula Ice Arena. Penn State men's ice hockey hosting Ohio State first period. Alex Limoges around the goal gets a stick on it, crossing it in front of the net, and Liam Folks right there to put it in. Easy, right? Lines up one nothing. Later in the first period, Tanner Lazinski from Ohio State breaks away from his defender and flicks that puck behind Peyton Jones. So it's 
one to one. Second period, Evan Bell with a shot bounces off the wall, and Evan Barrett gets a hold of it. Goal, but Penn State would fall 4-3 later in the game. And that's it for sports.